this is our allotment, okay. Um, we got it in March this year, and it was fairly wild and overgrown. It was a bit like this one over here, look, okay. So we had to dig it all out with a pickaxe and get it ready for growing stuff. And um, I'll just show you around what we've got. Um, we have kale, corn, broccoli, cabbage. There's some lettuce here, but we've taken about 20 heads of lettuce already, and we've got to plant more. Um, over here we have um, lots of potatoes. These are main crop potatoes. There's four different varieties. And we have early potatoes here, which are a different variety again, and they're coming out pretty good. Um, here we have some onions and some garlic and some shallots and leeks and leeks and the leeks are pretty pretty sad looking but they'll they'll do okay later on. And then over here um, we have um, Jerusalem artichokes, mange two peas, um, French bean, climbing French beans here and um, some sad looking Dwarf French beans with, with lots of weeds and some runner beans and behind those in the other little thing we've got um, some yard long beans and then up against the fence at the back there are some more French beans and some carrots but they are for later in the year and um, <coughs> here we have more carrots and beet and what's that thing called? Shit. F fennel, I think. <laughs> I think it's fennel, I can't remember. I think it's fennel. And garlic around this, the whole idea of the garlic around the carrots is to kind of confuse carrot fly because they'll smell the garlic and they might not be able to smell the carrots. Here we've got some. Um, Asparagus, but it takes about three years for the asparagus to be right. This is asparagus here. You see these feathery things? There's a spike actually. That looks pretty nice, but um, they take three years before you can harvest them, and then you get loads of them. You got to leave them alone until they get ready. There's some sunflowers and some more sunflowers and um, some strawberries, but they're this year's strawberries, so they're not really doing anything yet. And um, we've got a couple of courgettes in here, which are looking kind of nice. I'm going to train those so they get tall, and um, as opposed to spread out. And um, in here we have some tomato plants that are kind of looking a bit emaciated, but they'll probably be okay. There's at least some tomatoes on them. <laughs> cabbage. Did we do cabbage? Yeah. Broccoli. Yeah, yeah, the broccoli is just beginning nice, to yeah. develop heads. This is. Um, Sprouting broccoli here, so that'll do all for the rest of the summer. Once it starts producing heads, it'll produce all during the summer. Um, over here we have spinach and chard, but I've got more of that to plant. And I've got loads more lettuce to plant. And um, They're my potatoes. We saw the potatoes. I have some more beet planted there. And then this is something I set up here that I saw on YouTube. These wires here, the little box here you see. And these are supposed to be galvanized wires. And the whole idea is that they stop slugs, uh, the 9 volt battery and two positive and negative wire and they really do work. They stop the slugs getting into the lettuce or into the cabbage and all this stuff and it works brilliantly. So check out on YouTube if you want to find out how to do that, check out on YouTube. Uh, look for a 9 volt slug killer and it works really good. Um, what else is there? That's really it. Okay. Bye.